All right, and so here's what it looks like on the inside. A lot of custom work I've done in here. Up front, it's pretty much the same as it was, and anything you see in here, it'll come with. Here's where the head is. Got all the parts for that outside. But yeah, I just wanted to go through and make sure it was all structurally sound, so I pulled everything out. And yeah, all the parts are somewhere. Here's a window. I this is what I wanted to put in here, and then I was also going to do the same thing over here. That was my plan, so this isn't complete, obviously, but that was my plan, and then I was going to do something different here. And, <clears throat> yeah, once you put the cushions here, and the back cushion will come up here, and that'll just be storage. And then you'll be able to put some books and stuff in there, which is kind of replicating over here. Same size holes, and you've got space back there, space there for that stuff. And here's what it looks like in there. And I've got the chair for this, which is outside. And the deal that goes underneath there. Hold on. So yeah, that's for the chair there, which is outside. So... And that's waterproof, so there's that. Gimbal stove. A little dusty inside, but it's in pretty good shape. Stainless steel sink. Here's for some sort of storage or whatever. And I did make the cushion here for this. And so here's the extra quarters back here, which is something I just wanted to do to have more space. I was going to sleep back under here. And then there's a lot you could do with it still, but... That's as far as I got with it. And these are all painted. And there'll be space under there. And then space up underneath there. So there's that. These easily remove. Just like that. So I made that. So that it'd be easy to get back on there. And what else? Here's what it looks like outside. <clears throat> so this isn't bolted on, but you still have your space back here. And then this is where the panel used to be. I covered that up and I custom made all that there. Here's what it looks like on top. Decks are pretty solid, no soft spots. Jumping up there, you can't really tell. But that's what it looks like up top. Here's the window that still needs some work. I'll cover that up. Hasn't been exposed or nothing. So here's what it looks like up front. Chain locker or anchor locker. Um, yeah, it's pretty much what it looks like up top. Nothing too special. Just needs some paint. Everything comes with it which I'll show all the parts. But yeah, it was a complete boat when I got it. And then I obviously stripped it out, and you'll see the videos. I've got plenty of videos on YouTube that show all the work I've done to this. So you can see that on my other channels. But this is what it looks like as of today. And if you buy it, this is what it'll look like when you come pick it up, except for the added sales and whatnot and other stuff I have to put on board. But yeah, that's what it looks like as of now. All right, so here's what it looks like on the outside. Um, I built this trailer myself. I do have a video on how I made that, so if you want to check out more on the trailer, you can see that. Pretty much anything I've done to the boat, there's a video for it, so if you're really interested, just watch those videos and you'll see all the work I've done to it and get a little more details, but this is kind of what it looks like as of right now. Anything you see goes with it. There's a rudder over there which has been a lot of work to try to get it straight. The other side still needs some work and needs some work there. This I was going to use for the top rail instead of the wood. So there's that. Mm, some parts in here for the boat there. So we have that. There's some electrical parts in there. In here more miscellaneous stuff. Here's for the rudder, parts for the rudder and Anything that came with the boat is going to be either in these bins or underneath something stored somewhere else, but I'll get to show you all that stuff, more miscellaneous stuff. Over here, there's that. 
We've got a bunch of rope in that one. Got a propane tank. I was going to mount one or two of these to the outside at some point for the stove. Water tank. And pretty much here's what it looks like on the outside. And as you can tell, the only thing missing here that you will need to get is rims. Now, the reason there isn't any is because I borrowed my mom's because they had brand new tires on them and I didn't want to drive from Texas with bad tires, but I'm going to measure it here so you can get the size from the outside to the center, which is usually how it goes. Let's see if you can see that. Four and a half is what I'm getting here, and that's from the outside to the center, which is, I believe, how you do it. So four and a half is what I'm getting, a five lug four and a half. Pretty sure it's like a Chevy bolt pattern. But yeah, should be a standard trailer size. I'd get two new tires for that. The other ones are in pretty good shape. And those are basic mobile home axle tires, so those should be easy to find. And overall, it's been in pretty good shape. It's been under these trees, so it's not getting cooked all the time. Trailer I painted. And, oh, there is going to be, now that I'm seeing it here, there is going to be work that's going to be needed to be done here. It does have minor cracks. It goes up to kind of about right there, but I was going to sand it all out and redo it there. But in case you want a better close footage here, here's where it starts on the other side. And basically this is kind of common, I've heard, because it's that's just a giant piece of lead right there over time that does happen but it's nothing too major this one looks like a oops nothing major this one looks like it goes all the way across but pretty much I was just gonna redo it when you're at that point so here's what it looks like up front and nothing too major everything outside is pretty solid the only damage a little piece here a little bit there nothing too big a deal other than right here and this is the only part the biggest damage I guess you could say is that which isn't too bad there's my finger so there's that here's where I was filling the holes from the previous outlets but yeah overall that's what it looks like as of right now, and you know, like I said, I'm putting it for sale in order to make some money to get my other 38 foot sailboat to Jacksonville. And yeah, hopefully, someone else can make this finish this off and make it a nice boat again. 1977 Columbia 8.3, which is a 27 foot. Oh, yeah, and here's that chair I had talked about here. This is the one that's going to go in there. So, yeah, pretty much there's the chair. And the mount's inside already, so that's waterproof. And that comes with the boat. And I'm going to go walk around and show you all the rest of the parts. So, that's the boat. And as for other parts, they're scattered, so let's go find them. Okay, and here's some of the parts. This is the water tank it originally came with. Here's another tank. And then also there's the stairs. This is the original fuel cell. Uh, those didn't come with it, but you could have those if you want. So yeah, those are some parts out here, and I got more in another direction. And more trim pieces. Lots of them right there. And here's some more pieces. This is where all the longer pieces of the wood trim is going to be. It's underneath my house. But yeah, there's just piles of wood under here. So all that comes with it there. And here's a few other trim pieces. That's for the head. There's the head door. More parts, but basically anything you find under here that's for the boat goes with it. And yeah, it's all stored underneath. So that way it stays nice and dry. And that's it for those parts.
Here we go. There we go. See that? Now they got the whole look. Okay, and here's the sails that come with the boat. I'm not sure they're really from for this boat, but they should might work. I don't know. I've got right here is a Catalina 27. It says 1743 Gina Maker, and that's the sail I just put up. And then this also says C27, so I'm assuming it's a Catalina 27, 1743, and that also jib. So basically, that's from a 27 foot Catalina. Here, this one just says Maine. So I'm not sure if it's for this boat or another boat. This one's from a Tartan 10, 11, Gen, and here's a storm sail right here. So that comes with it also. Those are the sails that come with it. And one last thing over here. And so here we have the mast. Most of the parts are on here. If not, they're inside the boat, but it's all complete. And it's pretty much just been sitting out here since I bought the boat here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's all in good shape. Here's part, more parts of it here. Everything should be on it. It was all complete when I got it, so it's just taken apart. And it needs to be put back together, but here's what it looks like. I know you can't see the best, but where it's at in the shade so there's the mast in good shape all the cables seem to be in good shape I'll put a zoom in on those it was in fresh water in a lake in Lake Austin or Lake Travis in Austin so at some point it wasn't in the ocean but where I got it was out of a lake so not really much corrosion on it all in pretty good shape and yeah, that's the last of it. So.